London's taxi drivers are the Olympic athletes of memory. Drivers navigate the streets of London using a complex mental map with thousands of landmarks and other locations. These taxi drivers have helped researchers at University of London study how memory works. Each new cab driver must pass a very difficult exam called the knowledge, which takes about two years to prepare for. It's a good opportunity for scientists to study how the brain is able to adapt when it has to retain large amounts of information. Thanks, mate. Can you take me to Albert Hall? Albert Hall, yeah. Cheers. When somebody gets in your cab, they'll say, take me to so-and-so, and it's, it's got to be like that. You've got to know instantly where you're going, which way to be pointing. So there's a lot of retention. You've got to retain a lot of what you've learned as well. Scientists suspected that a part of the brain called the hippocampus might be the key to the taxi driver's success. Now, run me to the nearest police station. They buy up Waterloo Bridge, Ford Lancaster Place, left into the Strand. Drivers in training at the Knowledge Point School use this part of the brain a lot in classes. Dave, give me the name of a restaurant on Portland Road with a lady's name. Chutney Mary's. Hereford Road, where would you give me? Veronica's. After class, students take their knowledge to the streets. Visual processing takes up more space in the brain than all the other senses combined. So direct experience is a very important part of training. You start off learning all the roads. Then you have to learn all the places on every road. With all the routes that you have to do for the knowledge, you couldn't possibly do it on a map. You have to get out on your bike in the rain, the cold, the snow. You learn it bit by bit. But how does the brain retain and order all that information? All this internal effort has an external effect, a physical change in the brain itself. From their study, scientists concluded that taxi drivers have a larger hippocampus than the average person. In fact, the biggest differences were seen in taxi drivers who had been working a long time. It's almost like you've somehow, somewhere up in your brain, you've created enough space to sort of slip this map in, a little bit of software. This study suggests that the adult brain can physically change depending on what a person needs. Doctors hope this information can be used to help restore the minds of stroke victims, Alzheimer's patients, and those suffering other forms of brain damage.